While exploring the Commonwealth, after escaping ca after escaping Vault 111, we find a mysterious tunnel. Inside, a red scorpion. Having no other weapons, I use my double barrel shotgun. We see a tur turret off to the left, and pulling out our short hunting rifle, we take a shot, blowing it up with one hit. This is our first foyer into Fallout 4. This is the video I will show you guys where we don't use any modded weapons. The only mod active at this time is Cheat Terminal by Nexus. So, anything I do in this video that you guys see that should be odd is due to cheat terminal. Hacking terminals and whatnot, having perfect VATS accuracy, etc. Of course, I do believe I have gun mode. But we get into a firefight with some sins as we investigate this tunnel information on what is up with this tunnel I have no idea yet we switch to our pipe rifle or pistol sorry and engage the synth in the back of course I get confused on the VATS button for Fallout 4 for New Vegas it appears to be the RB button for Fallout 4, it's the LB. Odd. But we continue to snoop. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Uh, it's not over yet. It's not going to blend seamlessly because I had to restart the recording at a point. In fact, what you're seeing right now is where I got into a talk with my dad and ended up happening to stop the recording and restart it at a later point. So, as you can see, we just skipped to a totally different interior. I'm gonna let it sit for a couple seconds, make sure there's nothing in here. We find an end of dungeon steamer trunk on the table, and a massive vault. And this synth didn't even notice. Us. So we kill him. Dumbass. Of course, we can't get into the vault, so we resort to plan B. Everyone knows what my plan B is hacking. So we toggle clipping. We toggle no clip. Wait a couple seconds. Keep waiting. There we go. We toggle into the vault and find a corpse. Yay. Of course, uh, the next video you guys will see, which will come out on Friday, will be the modded version after we're doing everything. This character is meant to be my assassin evil character. Of course, we've also started helping the railroad. Bad idea. I have never actually played with the railroad on a playthrough of Fallout 4. I don't like them. So. Should be interesting. Oh no, we're locked in the vault. Oh wait, I forgot I can toggle collision. <laughs> we head out and down a hallway. Sweep through the rest. There's a naked mannequin. 
stupid mannequins. Someone had coffee. We need to hack the terminal. So now it's locked. So what we end up finding out is this is part of the railroad's quest line and DARPA, I think is what they're called. Either way, they're supposed to be a classified top secret government agency. Yet all of their terminals are locked with novice. Except one, I think. Definitely one. Which is hilarious. Oh. We head out through a door, find a locked door, and inside we're gonna find a fusion core. And we have to do some gymnastics to get to it. Now my frame rate does crash at a certain point in this video where I just at this point I'm at 60 frames and later it hits like 18. That gives it's lowest. So I apologize for that. We activate the elevator. <laughs> A bookcase. Put that there. Who put that, that there? I have to learn to pronunciate. Or enunciate, whatever the hell you want to say. <laughs> in case you guys aren't aware, this is... I, I like jumped in at this video, so... A lot of this is just going to be me fun and recording. But if you guys aren't aware, when I record audio, I have it in my editing file, and uh, I have my headphones in. So if I laugh after I say something, it's because I have the same audio you guys are hearing piping right into my headphones. So I can hear everything that I'm saying. That's making me laugh. We're in a donut shop. Call the cops. Okay, so we're gonna fast travel, or I should say teleport, to the Old North Church. This is like 25 minute video, so, and we're at about 9 minutes. I'm literally narrating the narrating this piece by piece. Welcome, Mr. Gutsy. Yeah, you guys are gonna see a lot of loading screens. Sorry about that. And I'm also sorry for every time it drones on. Like when I said loading screen. I hope you guys enjoy the fact that we are actually uh, playing the game. And I'm producing these original style videos. You know, where we play Fallout, and we do vlogs. I already have two of the three vlogs needed for the week. Uh, I'm going to work on the third later. And I'll be on vacation 
with my mom and my niece. I'm seeing my mom's friend in Virginia, so the stream Saturday might not happen. I don't know yet. But if you guys want to make sure you don't miss out on anything, make sure you follow the Twitter. I usually post photos and tell you guys what's going on on there. Oh, look, we're inside a church. Look, a ghoul. I think this is where my frame rate started crashing. Yeah. So I cripple that ghoul. And his friend comes over here. So we target that leg. But it ends up killing him. As you guys just saw, there's some. Ammo there that isn't in the base game. Soviet 7.62 by 39 or 37. I'm not sure. I don't usually use AKs with the mod. I like the AR. AR. We follow a staircase upstairs into the ch the steeple of the old North Church. Let's hope Nicholas Cage isn't up here. And we continue to wait, and wait, and wait. Oh look, we're up. But as you can see, our frame rate crashes excessively. I mean, I think we're at 18 frames. It might actually be at 8. Head back into the church. Always shoot the corpse. Make sure they're dead. Sometimes you get to dismember them. That's more for fun. Turn off our light, turn it back on. And advance. There's a ghoul. Alright then. Come out. 
Come on, wherever you are. Headshot. The leg ain't headshot. But still. Somehow I got completely turned around. I think it's in this spot that I get completely turned around and and end up getting or end up going in reverse. Yeah, it's this fight right here. It's insane. Get all the way to there, and then I'm like, oh yeah, that's right. I'm supposed to go this way. I just walked over that ghoul. A feral ghoul. He shoot his leg. Sweep the leg. And for asylum's sake. Yeah, get some. I'm gonna summon your face. This is not child friendly. Twenty two long rifle, you know. And the password is railroad. So we continue the effort of cracking this code. Before we go any further, answer my question. Who the hell are you? Who the hell are you? Put down your weapons first. Until I determine you're not a threat, we'll point our weapons wherever we go. It's clear you're not with the Institute. But who told you how to contact us? What? 
Contact who? I just stumbled in here. You really don't know. I'm Desdemona. Deacon, where have you been? You're having a party. What gives with my invitation? I need info. Who is it? And the new guy knocked you here. He's a complete put me on unknown. his shoulder and what? blasted have his way through the rest him? of the complex. Fine. Sends everything. Amazing. I don't right? know what. You You'd feel the same not to sign him up, though. Yeah, I know all about them. Good. The info. Aren't synths just machines? They started. So we I don't know. No, probably not. No sh it might be best if we kept the distance from them. The Institute would like to see you. The guy knocked me out, put me on his shoulder, and blasted his way through the rest of the complex. Synths everywhere. He said he wouldn't risk his life for the cause. Hello, words. I crashed him. I'm speaking awfully loud. Point taken. Deacon told me you single-handedly secured Carrington's prototype, disabled a minefield, and wiped out a hundred Gen 1. So is any of that true? Mostly true, but there weren't a hundred of them. And Deacon was with the whole thing. Embellishing the truth again, are we? She was falling for it, you know? Don't flatter yourself. Still... I was expecting Deacon to grab the full team, including Glory, to secure that prototype. But instead, just... You'd be insane not to sign him up, though. You've certainly made an impression. Welcome to the railroad. I'm not sure. If you... Glad to be... It seems uh -huh. so you're in. Mm-hmm. I don't want a code name. Code names aren't optional. Call me... Fixers, your first uh -huh. but first, it's time to meet the rest of the gang. Excuse me. I skipped quite a bit of dog dialogue, because I really don't care. I'm going to end up killing all of them, because it's fun. I mean, this is my evil character. But I killed the Minuteman, the Brotherhood, the Railroad, and keep just the Institute. Because it's fun. Things are chaotic right now, so there's plenty for you to do. Give you this. An extraordinary feat to recover this. Well, that's hardly the point. Without a lick of training and not knowing hardly anything about you, Des invited you to join him. It would have been nice if she had consulted with the second in command. But what tongue has done? Now we might as well put you to work. You guys recruited me. I don't need your attitude. Charming. I'm sure you and Glory will be fast friends. One of our field agents, Old Man Stockton, needs help with a runaway synth. It's you, uh -huh. so head for it, Paranoid Ape. So, is there anyone you like? Oh, I wasn't aware we were competing for congeniality. Uh -huh. Dead Drop is a male boss with a real son. It's a common need. When you make call, the current side. You can trust me with this. I'll get it done. You sound rather convinced of it, actually. Stockton is... Use the... Hey, Carrington. I still can't believe Des Desdemona. Some of the people you meet will be instantly replaced. He's gonna loot a bunch of stuff. Really wants the freedom, but I'm 
down. You gotta be careful, man. The instruments are everywhere. <clears throat> the sensor suit says we're clean. Hooray! We're bug free. I'm relieved. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. Yeah, I do. Whoa. The Institute has these tiny micro. Um, <laughs> so many, man. The Institute. If true, that's terrifying. If you have a shred of evidence for any of it, bring it on. Christ, it's terrifying. Okay, okay. If you really want to be safe, let me give you a little shot. Does the mom? There's no one has to be. So the real key to those little rules. There's a battery acid in that zero zero. You can't nuke an omelet without irradiating some eggs. You know the deal. So I apologize, guys, for the static -y audio. It's my recording software that I use to record the gameplay. So I apologize. Also, I don't know if you caught that last part, but uh, Carrington confronted Tinker Tom about Tinker Tom's shot that he gives people to deal with some kind of microorganisms the instrument uses. The institute uses. Called. Well, I don't know what the serum is called, but apparently it has battery acid in it. Fucking idiot. Anyways. If you guys want to make sure you don't miss out on the next episode of Fallout 4, the story of Chazo, which is our evil character, or the Fallout New Vegas characters, or the vlogs, make sure you subscribe and hit that bell notification button. I don't know if you guys are getting notified or if my videos are appearing in your subscription box, but I hope it does. Anyways, make sure you subscribe, hit the bell notification button button leave a like leave a dislike if you dislike the video comment down below and of course follow me on twitter at jrchunks21 so you guys can stay up to date also we have some new shirts in the shop uh the link is always down in the description feel free to check them out i'll see you guys next time